And what is up everybody? It is your boy Bry and today we're gonna be looking at editing breaths. So um you know unfortunately if you have never noticed your breaths in music or anyone else's breaths while mixing you will now notice them because it's one of those things that either you notice um and or you you notice it and it completely um annoys you you know or um i don't know you sit in between those two so yeah uh firstly you know the most important thing obviously is to identify the breaths now the thing i learned a long time ago let me just adjust my headphone level is that um you know when making music my bad my bad when making music it is really you know certain listeners i've heard in, in certain songs go you know when does when does this person breathe you know and um that's when you go oh you know was this song edited or did this rapper just like rap forever or the singer sing forever um you know it's really up to the source material so for example if you're doing an r&b ballad or something like that and you know it want it has to be intimate you want to make sure that the breaths um represent the song in the right way so you know you want them to be subtle um, you don't want them to be like, <gasps> you know what I mean? If the artist has to do that in order to to get the performance, then so be it. But you know, you you as the engineer, or if you're editing yourself, you need to make sure that you, you do justice to these songs. So you know, just go find a breath now. You know, knowing me, I can see a breath from a mile away. Um, uh, when you know what I mean? We've been doing this a while, so we can see that that is a breath right there. Now, if we listen to the whole bar, it's not too bad. I puff on the cigar, say I'll never be shit, but look, mama, I'm a star. When those clear. That to me would be the definition of a breath that is fine. It's good to go. Now, um, let's just say we were insecure about that breath. Uh, let's find another one. Who I am as a puff on the yeah, I think this is going to be our best bet. Now, there are several methods to um, get rid of the breath, right? Either we can just, you know, stock standard, just cut it, right? Uh, let's just mute it for the sake of this video. And I learned this from uh, somebody on YouTube. If you use the right alt and left click, it's actually a shortcut for mute. So that is good. Um, yeah, now let's listen to it and see. As I puff on the cigar, say I'll never be shit, but look, mama, I'm a star. When those clear skies play. Now, to me, that kind of sounds um, unnatural because it's just not there anymore. You know what I mean? There's no breath. Um, you know, you anybody who doesn't have the session in front of them would never notice, right? But at the same time, we want to keep the integrity of um, the song. So there's a different method. Um, okay, firstly, there's a little trick that I got for you while muting. Um, once you've done this, if you're going to be exporting this session to give to someone else, I would highly recommend double clicking, going to uh, de-clicking and then clicking generic. Now, what that's going to do is it's going to create um, cross fades wherever the audio is cut, as you can see. And you don't want to, you know, trim it somewhere here. You want to just make sure that you've gotten rid of the breath and you're right up to where the next word starts. So, windows. So nothing, you know, nothing's being swallowed. Windows. You know what I mean? We can still get away with that. Windows. You know what I mean? We don't want to do that. That's sloppy editing. So we're going to keep it around there. Keep this one around there. Perfect. You know what I mean? And now when we listen, it's a lot smoother. And um, if you export it, there's going to be no digital artifacts that are going to happen. As, as you can see, the clicks have been uh, introduced everywhere else. So. Look, mama, I'm a star. Windows, clear skies. You know what I mean? It's nice and clean. Now, let's say we didn't want to do that. Let's just undo all of that. Um, we wanted to keep this breath. What we can do in FL Studio is... Um, you right click go to automate volume right so we want to create a volume clip now um the little tip i'll give you for little tip i'll give you for volume clips is you don't want to leave this clip here because then no right in rap for example if this clip continues the rest of the audio would be lowered but that's a different video so now let's go find our breath again and now as you can see you know you probably know by now all we're going to do is um you know right click to create our um automation point and um then we're going to hold in left alt and then drag it to just before where the breath starts or just where that word ends we're going to right click again uh hold in alt and we're going to right click again now what we're going to do is we're just going to drop the level and this is what uh rick ross's engineer suggests doing because rick ross breathes a lot when he raps but you don't want that to get in the way of the message he's telling so let's try this into that you know what I mean? It's a lot. It's a lot better than what it was before. My mama star, windows clear. You know what I mean? Back then it was, you know, it was pretty upfront. Now let's just, you know, we could even drop that lower to the point where it's, it's like at fifty percent. Where we were at sixty percent, we're still pretty hard. You know, we can do something like that. Ship a look, my mama star, windows clear, skies playing in. Easy peasy. So yeah, that's just a little quick tip I got for you. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, shout out to Notification Squad, JH Music. I see you, and there's a KG Music. Shout out to you too. Uh, 
you are today's uh early squad representatives haha <laughs> so like and subscribe if you have not um stay tuned for the next video it is your boy Pry signing out feel free to uh suggest any videos you'd like to see in future and until next time peace